Ben here with uh, 498 Nerf. And I've got an update on uh, a work in progress update on the uh, Project Hammerhead blaster. And played around with the three motor configuration that I had, the, the three firewall cages spaced out that I had uh, previously. Um, and I could get the majority of the shots to go through cleanly, but I, no matter how I tweaked it and what I did with it, I couldn't get. Um, that, that consistency that I wanted through there. So I tore the whole thing apart, uh, took the, the, the flywheel cages all apart, and um, cut them down, put them back together, used a piece of 916 cents brass uh, to line them up all the way through here. And then I changed the motor configuration that I'm using in addition to the, the cage geometry. So before I had a 17114, uh, an MTB Rhino, and then a 2460 on my third stage. And I replaced the third stage motors with uh, Rhinos as well. So I've got Rhinos in the second and the third stage. But then I changed the battery up to use a 4S LiPo instead of a 3S LiPo. So that's going to be spinning the 17114s about 32,000 RPMs, and then the Rhino is about 48,000 RPMs. Uh, going through, um, going to take a look at this, put this thing back together, test it out, and uh, get some chrono readings. As you can see from the chrono readings, I'm getting similar velocities to what I had before with the old flywheel cage configuration. But, and importantly, I am now getting consistent velocities. Before I had shots that were, some of them up in the 180s, uh, but some of them down in the, in the 140s and 130s, and there was no consistency between that. Now, all the shots going through this are very consistent, averaging in, in the high 170s right around 180 feet per second. So I think moving these flywheel cages together has, has solved uh, the consistency issue that I'm having, and I'm, I'm getting good, solid consistency out of that. Anyways, thanks for watching.